First thing the wife said was, don't make a mess. <laughs> In time, we are right now on the reward fleet and we're taking off from downtown and we're gonna get ready to do some bottom fishing. I got the rod and reel set up, I got a vertical jig on the spinner, and then I got a little bottom fisher, a uh, little bottom fishing rig set up on the bottom rod. So we're gonna try to mix it up today, but a couple of the mates and the captains were telling me that you get about 50% more bites on the vertical jigs right now on these offshore trips that they're doing. So I'm gonna try to do a, dedicate a little bit more time to vertical jigging. It's something I don't do too often, and uh, it's something I've always been looking forward to. So we're already heading out. I'm glad we made it on time. I'm excited. Hopefully we're gonna get some fish. Stay tuned, it's gonna be fun. Smaller one. He's on over there next to you too. Trying to double up. Trying to double up? Yeah, it's like down there. Oh, you have oh rig, I think right? he came off. Did he come off or is he just oh, floating up? Something's chasing him too, no? Little mutton? No, it's a little no, it's a vermilion. Vermilion. It's a vermilion. It's a nice one. Is that a keeper? Yeah. I'll take him. Sweet man. Do a little catch and cook when I get home. Just one in the head. One in the head. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. Oh. Still on. Yep. There it comes. Yeah, it's, it's, I see color. Yeah, he does that. He, he don't talk enough. Fish on. Daddy, 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 Today must be your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go in, back up, go in. Get down, go down. There you go. Got a fish on up here. Walk. Walk, 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 walk. Yeah, you got yeah. one. See any color yet? Yeah, 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 we got good color. Mutton, right? Oh, wow. Nice, wow. nice mutton snapper. Oh, daddy did it! Woo! Is that a mutton? That's a mutton. That's Told you, on the king rig. Yeah, man. Yay. See? Wow. Yay. Oh, yeah. On the king ring. Good job. Oh, I can see the blood. Nice keeper. Oh, careful. That's the blood is coming out. She had just a bit on the way down. Ah. Oh, a tile fish. A tile fish in yeah. somebody's line. A tile fish. Dude, he caught a tile fish. This, this fish is actually really good to eat, bro. It's what? Small. You know how many I've caught of these and I've always yeah, thrown them back? Man, this fish is good to eat, dude. You want it? Really, no, I don't want it. It's you don't small. Want, I don't want it. They usually get way fucking bigger. Than yeah, no, dude, I've caught one like that big out there. Look at this freaking came up popped. These little fish. You're not supposed I to touch them. Way on the bottom. It's slimy. You can touch it. Oh my. Okay, good tonight. Oh, All right, you guys. So we are coming to the end of the offshore fishing trip here with a reward. We caught some fish out here today. It was pretty cool. Everybody got to hook up from the looks of it. Got to, to break in the new reel and it's actually really smooth. I really like that new pen fathom. Um, and I'm gonna go home now. We're gonna do a little catch and cook. All right, you guys, so I just made it back home. Awesome day today on the reward. I gotta tell you, if you haven't been on the reward and you live in Miami or you're coming to visit Miami for the money, it's a pretty fun little trip you can do for a few hours. It takes off at 9 a.m., comes back by 1 p.m. 
and they take you to a bunch of different spots and uh, we got a couple keeper fish today. We got a couple of vermilion snapper and I'm excited to do a little catch and cook episode for you guys. I got some tostones, so we're gonna do a little fish and chips. We're gonna do a beer battered recipe and we're also gonna do a blackened recipe. So I got the stove already heating up. I got the ingredients right here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fillet these fish and then we're gonna start seasoning them. So stay tuned. It's gonna be a fun little cooking episode. So I'm gonna get, a, I'm gonna use a Tupperware to do our fish batter. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the Tupperware. And first step is you gotta put the entire package, the entire beer batter package inside. One full package of the Louisiana beer batter, seasoned mix. Probably more than enough right there. And then we're supposed to add one cup of beer Pours light. So now we're supposed to pour one cup of this into the beer batter. Going in the batter. One package of the Louisiana beer batter mix. And then you're supposed to mix it up really good. You could use your hands or you can use a spoon. Mix the beer with the batter. Get it nice and thick. First thing the wife said was don't make a mess. <laughs> oh boy. Gonna have some major cleaning to do when I'm done with this. I'm gonna do a couple fillets with some blackened seasoning. Try to do a nice even spread. And then rub it in. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this video so far. It's something different. I'm no chef at all. The most that I've ever done cook-wise um, for my family or for myself is barbecuing. I do enjoy barbecuing, but uh, that's as far as my uh, kitchen skills go. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. I don't know if I'm screwing this all up or if it's gonna taste delicious at the end of the video, but take a look at what we got here. Got some delicious looking vermilion snapper. Like I said, we're gonna do two recipes today. We're gonna go ahead and go with the Louisiana beer battered with Coors Light. And then we're gonna also do Old Bay Black and Seasoned Vermilion Snapper. So both of these are Vermilion Snapper. And uh, later on, we're gonna test these out and see what tastes better. So I wanna try to get a good view of me possibly screwing up uh, this whole entire recipe. Cause like I said, I'm an awful cook. Let's see. Oh, there goes the fire alarm. Gotta improvise. Actually, wait, here they are. Uh, yep. Oh yeah, skillet is nice and hot. All right, now, we're gonna throw these bad boys on the skillet. Wish I had somebody here to help me. I think things would move a little smoother, but we're improvising here, and uh, hopefully we're gonna make something Awesome, something that tastes delicious. So it looks awesome. Whoa. was a total epic fail. The house almost caught fire. Uh, I think this video is done here. Total fail. I took the freaking stove outside on fire. My heart is like coming out of my chest. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Sorry about the total bust. There goes uh, the fish recipe. I think that's gonna be my last catch and cook unless I have like parental supervision. Where I ended off the video, I was kind of in a bit of a panic mode 
I would say. Um, like literally like the kitchen could have caught on fire if I would have not reacted as quickly as I did. Like that pan was literally on fire, it was burning. And I didn't even think about it. I just grabbed it and took it outside of the house. I mean, I literally saved my brand new house from from burning down. Um, what happened was I left the top of the frying pan on while it was on high and I got distracted with the other fish that I was cooking. Nonetheless, you should probably always cook with someone there with you so they can keep an eye on things with you. I was kind of distracted and uh, thinking about too many things at the same time. So that's kind of what happened there. Anyways, luckily the house is fine. Um, nothing burned down other than the pot or yeah, the little pan that we have down there. And uh, I didn't burn the fish either. So I could actually still go and try to do this catch and cook video later on when my wife comes home and uh, I'm not the one in charge of the kitchen. So anyways guys, I hope you guys will share this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, um, well, the fishing portion and then the, the total disaster that came after. I really had good intentions. I thought, I still think the recipe can be really good. I'm really, uh, I still really wanna taste the, the beer battered fish and chips and hopefully I'll be able to do that later today. Um, but anyways, that's gonna probably wrap it up from me. I really hope uh, you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button for us. And uh, if you're new to Bite the Bait Fishing, make sure you subscribe for future videos. I'll see you guys next time.